Okay, so today we're uh, doing bonding. So we're gonna bond the gas pipe, which is just up here. Of course, as the regulations state, it has to be within 600 mil of the gas meter, or where practicable, uh, where the gas pipe enters the building. Now, obviously here, as you can see, we do have the gas meter straight here. So we're going to bond our earth strap to here. So we've already applied our earth strap, very simple to install one of these. If you're unsure, make sure you consult a qualified electrician or gas engineer who uh, would also be able to sort that out. And uh, we're using 16mm uh, earth today. Obviously that's uh, bigger than what you'd normally fit. 10mm would normally be acceptable uh, for this to provide the uh, correct amount of uh, uh, fault current protection uh, in the event of any fault. So we're just going to fit this and run this round to the MET, which is just around the corner. So this is the main incomer, and so effectively this is currently the only MET at this point. So we've bought our gas bond round, and so we're going to swap this out uh, for a four-way earth block, and then we'll be able to connect up our gas bond, and then also eventually when we've done it, our water bond, to the main earth terminal and then everything will be able to connect in properly and uh, the main equipotential bonding everything will all be connected together okay so we've run our gas bond we've also changed the MET for a four-way new MET and we've run in the supply earth and also connected up our gas bond the cable for that. So we've got our test meter here just to uh, show that our bond is good. So we have currently uh, an open circuit uh, reading greater than 99.9k .9 ohms. Our test leads are already nulled as we can see here. We're connected that end so we're just going to connect onto our MET and we see that we have a reading very 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 low which proves that we have a very good bond very low resistance in the event of a fault the current can flow through and has no issues with that and everything can uh, perform as it should do in the event that we hit any sort of fault condition okay so we <coughs> now run our water bond which goes all the way back through into the kitchen which is where the water main actually enters the property. So we've connected our bond to there, and then we've run our cable all the way here back to our MET. Now we're gonna test that, again, just to make sure that we've got a good bond attached to the pipe, the copper pipe, which we did clean as well with some cleaning strip. And so in order to carry out that test, of course, the leads that you get with your normal test meter are not long enough. So you need to use a wonder lead. So we're using our wonder lead, our 30 meter wonder lead, uh, to accomplish this uh, test. So the wonder lead is connected to our water, and then the other end is connected to our uh, test meter. And then all we do is just plug in, or clip rather, onto our meter, there's the audible beep that you get with the mega, and we see we have 0, 0.00 ohms, so again, same as before with the gas, no resistance through that, so fantastic, that's brilliant, and then we just connect the water pipe bond into our MET, and as far as that is concerned, we are done. Now for functionality purposes, and to make it easy for if an engineer was to come down here, uh, another electrician, uh, somebody from the uh, UK Power Networks, a DNO, or even a gas engineer, we will label one of these as gas, one of these as water, just to make it easier uh, and uh, more identifiable. So as you can see, we're all done. So we have our correct safety electrical connection do not remove sticker, and then labels for the gas and 
the water.